Hey, you know the site, CigarPage.com. Tim, Duck, Goose, you. Let's do an unboxing. Uh oh, oh, right, we got a flat top box here. Oliva, Siri V Melanio. Yes, I know you've heard of this one before, but I got a brand new size here. The 4x60 nub edition, if you will. Um, doesn't mention anything about nub here, but I mean, you all know what the nub is. Nub is a line of cigars, all short, fat, and stout from Oliva. Um, really, really popular and for good reason. Not only is that short little fat size kind of convenient and feels good in the hand and it's like a nice kind of 40 to 50 minute smoking experience, uh, it, it really gets to the flavor right off the bat. Some cigars take a little while to develop for whatever reason, maybe like the first quarter inch to a half inch, you know, you just don't get the full kind of complexity of, of, of the whole profile right, right off the bat. It takes a little while to kick in. With nub cigars, they've been blended and, and you know, the, the specific size that they are, it's all about getting that initial uh, blast right off the bat, right after lighting, you're getting the full kind of complexity and, and everything from that, that blend and that cigar. Uh, so they're wildly popular. Um, Oliva has released that size and a lot of their other uh, lines as well, like the original Serie V has a 4x60 size. Finally, arguably their most popular line, Melanio, finally gets the nub size, so super excited to have it. Special thanks to Sammy Stacks, AKA Sammy Samplers, AKA Young Uncle Sam, for providing this box to do an unboxing. He, no joke, bought these as an employee purchase. I grabbed them off his desk, I took them for my own, and I wanted to do a video with them. He was cool enough to say no problem, so thanks Sammy, appreciate it. Uh, but let's crack this open, see what we're working with. Uh, first of all, the box is just super classy, super classy. Very simple, looks really nice. Um, you know, nothing out of the the uh, usual here, uh, but I, I like that. I like a nice understated, classy, simple box. So good job there. Let's crack her open. Whoop. Oh, I gotta be soup. I'm already like messing up his employee purchase here. Oh boy. He's gonna kill me, but you know, what are you gonna do? All right. Uh, here we go. So this is a box of 10, I think. Box of, well, I guess I could open it up and count the cigars, that, that could work. But I'm pretty sure it's a box of 10. Nice flat top box. Oh God, so many stickers. There's one. Can I get this second one? Yes or no? Oh, there we go. All right, crack her open. Oh, oh yeah, really, really nice presentation. Got the nice little paper wrap, a little quality control stamp there. Open that up. You got some ribbon action. Open that up. You got some cedar uh, sleeve or, or you know cover, if you will. Real nice burn branding there. And uncelloed. Gorgeous little fatties, Oliva Siri V Milanio nub action. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna take one out. I'm gonna take two out actually. Careful. Careful. Okay. So let's take a look here. Now, a little unusual to see an uncellophane cigar these days. Um, for the longest time, cigars were uncellophane. Um, I believe you know cellophaning, cellophaning individual cigars has really come about in the past like 15, maybe 10 years or so. Uh, wasn't super common, uh, but every once in a while you will see some uncellowed cigars. That, that does allow the cigars to breathe a little better than normal. Uh, that being said, cellophane on the ind individual cigars does still allow a cigar to breathe. That cellophane is not completely airtight. It does allow some air transfer. It just slows it down. Um, but having no cellophane at all kind of does quicken the aging, aging process a little bit. So just something to take note of. It also makes a cigar much more susceptible to physical damage. Uh, so anytime you see an uncellophane cigar, I would try to be a little more careful. I certainly am going to because these aren't even my cigars. Uh, but let me uh, let me take a look here. Oh, really, really nice looking booking there. Beautiful coloration. These are made by like the best rollers in the world. 
not, I mean, Milano, Oliva in general is some of the best rollers in the world for sure, but the Serie V Milano in particular, uh, that is their, I would argue their flagship line and uh, one of the most popular cigars, Cuban, domestic, Europe, you know, all over the world, this is one of the most popular cigars there is and for good reason. It's gotten a 96 rating. Uh, it really has a nice kind of, a lot of places say it's full bodied. I've smoked a ton of these. I really think that, yes, it does have a pretty good kick of, of nicotine, but they're so smooth and so easy to smoke. I just have a hard time calling them like true full bodied. Uh, to me, it's more of like a medium, medium to full. Uh, but really, I think at the end of the day, that's because they're so smooth. Um, and it's just kind of like tricking me into thinking it's more medium bodied. But I'm going to schnoz it real quick. And great, great aroma. A little bit of spice, not a lot very cedary you know that this plays a part in that uh the aging process of course and just the fact that it's sitting in this in this box on cellophane it's going to impart some of the cedar you get some natural cedar uh, and and woody aromas from the tobacco itself but great great uh, uh you know note before you before you even light it up this size is just something else again four by sixty it doesn't look as chunky as it is because of all the all the bands here. You got the regular band and the uh, the secondary band. You take that secondary band off, you definitely see, you know, obviously more of the cigar and you really kind of realize the full size of it. Four inches, you know, not a big cigar, any sense of the, the term, but that 60 ring gauge is still gonna burn really slow for you. And I could probably get this cigar to last an hour for me. Uh, it's probably more like a half hour, maybe 40 minutes for most other people. Uh, but it's it's a you know going to be a slow burner and uh, really really enjoyable. Uh, normally I would reach for something like a Toro, maybe uh, I love the Figurado size and leave a Serie V. But if I didn't have a whole lot of time and I wanted I wanted to enjoy a Serie V Milano without um, kind of like wasting any cigar, I would absolutely go for these nubs. In fact, these two are staying with me. I'm giving the box back with only eight. Sorry, Sam. But uh, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, pick up a box. We have them in stock right now. I don't know how much longer we will have them in stock, so act quick. But until next time.